maybe he was a little nice to her. Okay. Do you think that people are nice to you when they don't look at you? Mm, no. Okay. So this is what I just want you to think about that. How is Sahara really going about that? Industry. Whether or not you're finished, let's come on back together. I'm excited to read your thoughts about your impressions on Daryl Sykes. Let's pick up on page eight. I want you guys to be ready if I call on you in a second. Again, we're gonna make some inferences. What do we think people are thinking and what do we think they're feeling based on what we're reading? I'm gonna start off reading. He's not some lunatic, corrected, corrected Mr. Stinger. He's a human being with special needs. Special needs, my mom sputtered. The only special need that boy has is for an old-fashioned crack across his behind. My daughter isn't spending part of her day with a teacher beater. It's just what people say, Mom. I pulled on her sleeve. Don't judge a book. She shook me off. Deasia. Your daughter's your daughter's need your daughter needs support during this time, Mr. Stingers reminded her, and Peaches nodded. Isaiah. I thought to myself, that teacher just wants Someone to play in the I want you to stop and jot right now. Based on that sentence, I thought to myself, that teacher just wants someone to play Uno with. How does Sahara feel about peaches? We can infer, we can make a logical guess about how she's feeling about her teacher based on that sentence. Jot it out really quickly. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. We'll bring your sentence to an end. Let's pick up where we left off. I'm going to reread that last sentence. We don't have to be Shakespeare here. We don't have to write a play. Just a quick thought. Okay. I thought to myself, that teacher just wants someone to play Uno with. Fru Maybe we should ask Sahara what she wants. Teacher suggested. With her, you should say happy song. Is this Christmas or are, are you the special needs Santa Claus? Ask, ask Sahara that she wants. Can you read that again? Ask Sahara. Ask Sahara that she wants. Ask Sahara. Ask Sahara what she wants. Mom twisted in her seat and made a noise between a cough and a laugh. Look, I don't have time for this. I know she's capable of fifth grade work. She reads at home. She reads plenty. I think she writes too. She said accusingly, Sahid. I didn't look at her. She wheeled, she wheeled around and She... Try it one more time. She... Whirled. Whirled. Whirled around in her chair. She whirled around in her chair and growled at me. Sahara, tell them. Sahara, tell them you don't... Like to I like how you reread that, Sarah. You put some emphasis. Keep going. She was telling the, she was telling the truth. I read at home and write too. 
but whatever I write, I make sure, turn too fast, I make sure I'm by myself, and then, when I'm done writing, I rip it out of my notebook. I hide it in a binder behind section 940 in the public library, where all the books about somewhere else are located. What does she mean, all the books about somewhere else are located? Take a second just to jog your brain. What does she really mean by that? Any thoughts on what she really means by that? She really means that nobody, the book that nobody would read. That no one would read? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Can you explain why you think that? I think that because I don't think Sarah would want to write something about by herself and then put it in a book. I'm going to reread it one more time. I want you guys to keep those wheels turning. Let's grease them up in our head. I hid it in a binder behind section 940 in the public library where all the books about somewhere else are located. Um, I think she means like uh, she put it behind here because she thinks that nobody will go behind her and look. Okay, but when she says somewhere else, what is she talking about? In another library? Not quite, Deja. I think she means where people wouldn't look. Okay, maybe where they wouldn't look. She's talking about the section of the library where the books are about foreign places, about somewhere else, about a place that isn't around her neighborhood. Is that making sense for you? Yes. Yes, somewhere else. She's talking about books that happen somewhere else. You didn't get that. That's okay. We're building this, this knowledge about what we're reading. Let's continue. This very paper, for instance, will someday be an... Everyone? Archaeological find. This very paper, for instance, will someday be an archaeological find. Someday, somebody will reach behind section 940 and find the dusty works of me, Sahara Jones, secret writer. And that person's life will be made more exciting just by reading my heart-wrenching life story and amazing adventures. Someday, people will be glad I kept track. Let's go ahead and mark that spot right there as our stopping point for today. Inferences. We make inferences about things that we can't really see. The thoughts and the feelings of a character. Also like the wants and the desires. Based on what we just read there, she was talking about the library, what she was going to do. Last thought I want you to jot out. What can we tell Sahara desires?